everyone, welcome to American Reads Fun Learning Activities. We are college students who create learning activities for kids. Our fun activities are focused on reading, writing, and math. Thank you for joining us to learn today. My name is Shi Yi, and today we are learning about comparing two digit numbers based on the meaning of ones and tens. And we will learn the three comparison symbols, which are greater than, less than, and equal to. We will use the symbol greater than, less than, and equal to to record the result of numerical comparison. The materials you will need for today's activities include something you can write and draw with, such as colored pencil and a blank of sheets of paper. Let's get started. Before starting today's course, you should know the tens place and ones place. Do you remember how to read the number by tens and ones? Let's do a quick review. Look at the first card I show you. What number do these tens and ones represent? We can do it step by step. What's the purple bar represent here? It's represent tens. Great job! Because this purple bar is consists of ten ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's there are ten ones, which is means ten. How many tens are there altogether? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. There are seven tens, which is seventy. Great job. Or we can use in another way to help to check if we get correct. For this purple bar, it means one ten. So we we can count by ten. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. 70. Great job. There are 70. There are seven tens. Oh, don't forget there have two red bricks. There are two ones. So the number we have here is 72. Seven is in the tens place and the two is in the ones place. Great job, everybody. Let's try another one. What number does this tens and ones represent here? How many tens are there? Oh, there are two tens. Great job. How many ones are there? One, two, three, four, five. There are five ones. Very good. So the number we have here is 25. Very good. The two is in the tens place and the five is in the ones place. Great job! Let's practice another one. What number does this tens and ones represent here? How many tens are there? There are one ten. How many ones are there altogether? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven ones. So the number we have here is 17. Great job. 1 is in the tens place and 7 is in the ones place. Great job. Well, after reviewing this, we should start today's research comparing two digit numbers based on the meaning of tens and ones. How to compare two digit numbers? Let's take 17 and 25 as an example. They're both two digit numbers, right? So when we compare two digit numbers, we should always look at the digit in the tens place. For 25, a digit in the tens place is 2. For 17, a digit is in the tens place is 1. So when we compare 2 and 1, we found 2 is greater than 1. So 25 
is greater than seventeen. Great job. Let's try another one. The number we have here is thirty-nine and fifty-three. As I said, when we compare two-digit numbers, we should always focus on tens place. For thirty-nine, three is in the tens place. For fifty-three, five is in the tens place. So, could you guys please tell me? Which number is greater? Very good. Fifty, fifty-three is greater than thirty-nine because five is greater than three. Great job. Let's try some more. How we compare twelve and nineteen? Well. First, we look at the largest place, which are the number on the bar left, on the far left. So we found they both have one in their tenth place, right? They're the same. That's okay. We can compare just then. We can just compare the digit in the ones place. Could you please tell me what number is in the ones place of twelve? Great job! It's two. Could you please tell me what number in the nine, the ones place of nineteen? Great job! It's nine. So when we compare two and nine, we found nine is greater than two. So nineteen is greater than twelve. Great job! Let's try one more. Fifty-six and sixty-five. Wow, this one looks so confused. Do you remember where we start when we compare? They both have six and five in their numbers. However, the one with six in the tens place has the greater value. That's why we should always start from the highest place. So six is greater than five. So sixty-five is greater than fifty-six. Great job! Let's play the game. Its name is find the home for numbers. I prepared two home, the home one, the home of greater number, the home two, the home of smaller number, and I also prepared two sets of number. In this game, we will compare two sets of number and find their home for their numbers. So first, the number I have here is twelve and ninety-eight. How can we compare these two numbers? We should always beginning at the tens place. For twelve, one is on the tens place. For ninety-eight, nine is in the tens place. So nine is greater than one. So where is the ninety-eight goes? The ninety-eight should go here. The home of Greater number. Where should twelve goes? The twelve should goes here. The home of smaller number. Excellent. Let's try another one. Thirty-two and forty-five. Could you please tell me what number is greater? I probably heard the answer. Forty-five is greater than thirty-two. Excellent. So forty-five should goes here, the greater number home, and thirty-two should goes here, the smaller number home. Great job. Do you know how to use the symbol less than, equal to, and greater than to record the result of numerical comparison? Let's take a look. Here we have the symbol greater than, equal to, and less than. We will use these three symbols to compare the numbers. We can learn it from example fifty-six and twelve. When we compare these two numbers, we find fifty-six is greater than twelve.
But which comparison symbol we're gonna use? Let's imagine that the symbol has a very hungry alligator's mouth. It always wants to eat the biggest mouth. So the open side, the open side, we are always facing to the biggest number because the alligator always wants to eat more. But how to read a number sentence or the result of numerical comparison? Just like reading a book, we starting from the left to the side. Knowing this, it will help us to remember if it's greater than, less than, or equal to. Let's compare these two numbers. We found 56 is greater than 12. So remember, the alligator's mouth should always face into the biggest number because it wants to eat more. So how to read this number sentence? 56 is greater than 12. Excellent. So the symbol we use here is greater than. Let's look another example. 16 and 52. When we compare these two numbers, we find 16 is smaller than 52. Which symbol we're gonna use? Remember, the alligator's mouth should always face into the biggest number. So, 16 is less than 52. This symbol is called less than. Very good. 32 and another 32. When we compare these two numbers, we find they're the same. It means they have the same value. So, 31 is not less than. It's not greater than 31, but equal to 31. So when we read this number sentence, we call it 31 is equal to 31. Excellent. So now we have learned three comparison symbols, which is less than, equal to, and greater than. Let's play the game to practice. I have three comparison symbols here and you guys tell me which one I need to use in each question. So first, 18 and 18. I probably heard the answer. Very good, it's equal to. Let's try another one. 98 and 10, which symbol we're gonna use? Very good, it's greater than because 98 is greater than 10. Very good. Let's try the last one. 32 and 61. Is 32 bigger or 61 bigger? Which symbol we're gonna use here? Very good. 32 is less than 61. Great job. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you for learning with American Reads today. We hope you come back and learn some more. Please comment if you have any questions, like and subscribe to our channel, and we will be back with more videos soon.